guys. Hello. Check the dust, the brightness. Adjust your brightness. You figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi. Hello. Sorry, camera had to be adjusted. Uh, so today we are gonna go around town. We have some Funko hunting to do, comic book hunting to do, house chore buying things. Maybe makeup too. Oh yes. my, no. <laughs> she has a lot. And if you left it in the car to be melted the other day, that's not my fault. Actually, I couldn't find it last time, so we're gonna try it this time again. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go to our favorite places, probably grab some lunch, take you guys with us. But first, I gotta stop at the comic book shop because I gotta trade some comics. And then maybe pick up some comics because there should be some new ones out. That wasn't in the plan, so I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I made it to the comic book shop to trade some comics and get some comics. Oh my goodness, she's going alone. Yeah, you always leave me to my own demise, <laughs> so this is your fault. I'll give you that. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see the damage. What'd you get? Well, hold on. I had 15 books. They're all gonna end up being dollar box books, which is totally fine. They weren't my style of comics anyways. I had a bunch of G.I. Joe and some Robocops, Star Trek that I showed you guys real quick. Not my taste. So I had $10 store credit with that, and then I paid cash. If you pay cash here, he uh, gives you a percentage off. Um, and I've been really, into the Blood Hunt series. So I have a bunch of these. So I got Venom Blood Hunt. I got Wolverine Blood Hunt. And then Amazing Spider-Man number 51. This is a two part series um, with a new goblin, but I got Scotty Young's variant cover. Oh, these are pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So the damage wasn't too much? <laughs> no, in total it's $18, $10 school store credit, I paid cash, um, so it was only $8 that I had to end up paying. If I would have paid with card, um, it would have uh, ended up being $23, um, plus some tax, give or take. But uh, yeah, I come here almost every weekend now. He totally already has the comics that I kind of want set aside for me. So yeah, go hit up your local comic store. They also have Lorcana cards in there, but we're taking a break on the Lorcana. I'm gonna start collecting the cards I want for my deck. And uh, yeah, we got other places to go. So Jazz, take us away. Let's go. Which ones? It's probably the Goblin Queen. Which I have. Oh yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. The summertime, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that one. Either. Okay, there it is. This is the Bros of Hawaiian. Whee! Oh, you can't go in that way. 
Where you trying to take us? We going through the drive through Trying to back there. Oh my gosh, she's whipping it, ladies and gents. Whipping it. I see this car, it was coming in hot. I don't care if that car was coming in hot. There's no reason to give me whiplash. Okay, you're used to it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to Hawaiian Bros. Uh, and get some food. So excited. So excited. It looked really good. I took a sneak peek. It looked really good. Ooh. I think they got some mock dough whip. So we're going to have to try that. Because, you know, we Disney folk. And we need our dough whip. Alright. Here we go. Okay, guys. We got our food. What did you get? Blue Alpha. And it comes with... Pineapple barbecue sauce. So you you want to use the pork with the sauce and a pineapple. That's how you do it. She got a side of pineapples, not the skewers, so all the pineapple. And then paso guava nectar, Hawaiian sun. It's almost almost a fog juice. Oh, almost fog juice. So for those that don't know, what is fog? Uh, it's passion orange juice and guava from Disney. It's the best juice that you can get for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yes, I will. I love that. And then I got a small, I don't remember how to pronounce it. Kalua. 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 I'll put the name right across because I don't remember how to pronounce it with the mac or macaroni salad. A guava nectar and I got a spam musubi. It's nice and warm. It looks really good. And then mine comes with teriyaki sauce. And I'm probably gonna steal some pineapple from her. I also. <laughs> she, needs all that. <laughs> she can close. she can go walking around eating her pineapple around while we're shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we'll let you know how it is, guys. Yeah. It's palm juice. Listen, I found Disney in a restaurant. It's guava, passion fruit, and orange juice. It's palm juice. <laughs> Mine's actual just guava, which it's really hard to find anything guava because everything's always mixed with guava. So I'm excited to try it. That's palm juice. Is it palm juice? 100%. You have to have a sip. We always find Disney. <laughs> Guys, we always find it. <laughs> it finds us, actually. <laughs> Eat it, eat it, eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really tasty. Yeah. And it has some seaweed. This is nice and hot. It's hot? Oh yeah, I see the steam. Yeah. Okay. You good? I think I probably should dip it in the teriyaki. Well, good thing you have some. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna it's let you eat. I'm gonna let you eat it. The bite, pineapple, rice, pork with your sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And her pockets. You just sip this. And you don't need anything else the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. And my chicken is really good as well. This mac though, A plus. I could eat that by itself. So good. Because I'm really picky on it. And I was telling Jess about it. You said it was more vinegar based, right? Yeah. A lot of people do, or I guess in the States here, not in Hawaii, they'll do a lot of mayonnaise. Like extra mayonnaise, which I love mayonnaise. But, you know, you want the acidity. Mm -hmm. And definitely get it right there. And this juice. Yes, love it. Now we're gonna enjoy our lunch, guys. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna give this bad boy a taste. It won't come through my straw, it's so thick. <laughs> you might need to do the spoon. I'm gonna have to do the spoon. <laughs> so, they do give you straws and a spoon. So, <laughs> use your spoon. The that it comes like this, so people don't touch it, so you're good to go. Oh, okay, she might need help on that. 
I need help. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Only had one hand available. <laughs> you want first bite? Okay, first bite. Oh, that's really good. It does feel like it's a pineapple dough. It isn't a pineapple dough, but it's close to it. Yeah, they don't call it, I think they call it soft serve. I don't think they exactly call it dough. We, we grabbed a menu so that we can show you guys um, from them. Uh, but it is fairly close to the one in Magic Kingdom. So all my needs are met and I'm super happy. <laughs> So she found Pug and an almost Dole Whip. Wow. Yeah. Disney follows everywhere. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is a small, right? I think so. I think it's all one size. Maybe all one size. They do have a strawberry one. Uh, and you can get these swirled, um, in case you're wondering. Uh, but yeah, this is really good. Um, let me continue eating this and then whip out the menu real quick for you. Okay, so it's home of the plate lunch. There's a QR code if you guys want to check out their menu or order from Hawaiian Bros. Or find your nearest one. Yep. And here are the plates, mostly chicken. So you got all the chicken. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Honolulu's easy, Molokai, Huli Huli. I ate the Lua pork, which is slow roasted Kalua pork. Um, vegetables for your vegetarians and this is what she got just so that you know guys this is what Jazz got the Kilauea sweet and spicy grilled chicken it was so good um, spin sides you can get an extra side of the macaroni salad white rice fresh pineapple or seasoned vegetables and then of course the dough whip they actually do call it a dough soft serve dough soft serve I think Dole Whips in general are produced by the little company Dole and Disney just added the Dole Whip to it. Yeah. Uh, and those are the drinks we ordered. Focus, there you go. But yeah, that's the menu for Hawaii Bros. Uh, it's not bad at all. Um, 10 out of 10 would totally recommend. Um, just so you guys know, I have had Hawaiian Bros before. That's why I know the best bite combo. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's something that everyone needs to try. And I'm super excited that we have one in our area now. So you might see us flocking <laughs> to this more often. Yeah, it's definitely a really good... The portion sizes you can honestly share if you really wanted to. Yeah, the, the classic. Um, it's, it's massive. It's double what the small was, and we had the small for lunch, so that yeah. you guys know. Um, I have no idea what size the large is. Uh, large would probably feed the both of us. Probably. Yeah. So, just keep that in mind when you're ordering. But, uh, overall, 10 out of 10 is what I'm giving it. What are you giving it? I would give it a 10 out of 10. I could come back again. Sweet. I think we're definitely coming back again. And I can find guava here. I love guava. Oh, yeah. So... With that said, now that our bellies are full, we have a few more stops we gotta make, and you guys are coming along. So let's go to stop number three. Yeah. All right. Number three. Stop number three. Here let's we go. go. Okay, third stop. Found your word searches. Yeah. Great. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, let's check out the pops. Looks like so far we have an Obi-Wan, a couple of Donald, a Trooper, a Barbie, we have a Haunted Mansion over there. Um, a couple of older pops as well. Ooh, the new Dorothy and There's Toto. Dorothy. Also have a couple of the Peter Pan pops there as well. Um, a little bit of, like I said, older pops throughout. Um, they do have a couple of Clarence pops. Wolverine. Some anime which we really don't know much. Johnny Rose from Schitt's Creek. Some more anime that, like I said, we don't know much of. They have a little bit of Inside Out, really some of them. But let's keep looking. Let's see what else we could oh, find. Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Batwing. Deadpool. Spot that Moira Rose in the back from Schitt's Creek. Old Man Logan to the right. For more of the Who's the boss? Not seen them. House of the Dragons coming out soon. All the Myers. <laughs> just left books a million and hot topic uh i didn't film much in hot topic because one of the workers uh was super interested in my tattoo and so i just chatted up with her but we got some goodies uh there's a sneak peek jazz will show them off whenever we get home and uh, all our other goodies too yep yeah. So, uh, off we go. Okay, guys, we are back from Funko and comic book hunting. I showed you guys what I got earlier from the comic book shop. Um, I have a lot more of the Blood Hunt ones. I actually am about to organize my entire comic book collection. That's why we are not in the room <laughs> with the blue chair. Uh, because it is a mess. Yeah, a literal mess, guys. We got home and... 
total destruction. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, but we wanted to show you the things that we picked up today, aside from my comic books. Um, so we stopped off at GameStop, um, uh, and I picked up this pop here. And it is the Peter Parker Advanced Suit 2.0. Um, this is from the Spider-Man game. I have the Mary Jane from the first game. I need to get Peter Parker from the first game. I've not played the second game yet. Um, I'm very slow rolling when it comes to my video <laughs> games. Um, but yeah, this is uh, who we picked up. Ooh, pretty cool pop, actually. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, out of the set, there's Mal Morales and his upgraded suit, Venom and Kraven. I seen the Craven Pop one time. I don't remember where I seen it. Let's see if you'll focus on that. There you go. But yeah, um, that's what I grabbed today. Uh, Jazz uh, got most of the Funko goodies because uh, I picked up comics. So Jazz, you want to show them? I got the Shrek Pops from Hot Topic. Hot Topic exclusive. My first one that I picked up was Shrek, of course. Pretty cool. I also got Poos and Boots, cause why not? It's pretty cool. And who doesn't love Poos? So cute. And I got Donkey, and Donkey is glittered. But growing up, this is one of my favorite movies to watch. So of course I had to snag them. Uh, you might not be able to see it too well. Sorry guys. But Sorry. I'm glad I found them. Yeah. Sorry guys, there was like a little glare off the camera and everything like that. So hopefully you you liked them. Um, we're on the hunt for the rest of the Shrek Pops. Um, her collection keeps growing. Mine <laughs> only grows with comics at the moment. I uh, ebb and flow in what I do. So for a couple months it'll be Funkos. And then the next couple months it'll be comics. And then the following months it'll be trading cards. It just depends on my mood, um, but I collect everything. <laughs> okay, for a while, I had a, we both were not buying pops, so mm -hmm. there hadn't been anything that caught our eye until recently. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was our day around town. Um, comic book store, uh, Funko shopping, and then eating Hawaiian Bros, uh, which... <laughs> was really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed hanging with us for the day. It's been a minute since we've done kind of a home shop vlog. <laughs> right? Yeah, it had been a while. Yeah. But uh, stay tuned. We got plenty more coming to you guys. Um, a lot more home vlogs too probably coming up uh, depending on the weather because it's super hot here in Texas right now and we're not getting out as much. Um, but yeah. You have a good day overall? I had a good day. I found my pops. Got some good food. There you go. Well, <laughs> until next time, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us. We got more content coming out. And until the next video, I hope you guys take care. Bye.